Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. And whether you're a brand new subscriber to the show or you're a continued supporter, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for being part of the Jibber Jab family and for supporting not only the channel, but the very talented and generous developers that continue to provide all of us with free coupons for the giveaways. And even Samsung is getting more involved now with providing goodies, so it's a great time to be part of this community. Okay, in today's show, I review four new faces from our friends at ANL Freedom Watch Faces. And the selection I have for you today includes digital, analog, and even a hybrid variety, so there should be something for everyone in today's selections. And don't forget that I'm now giving away two free coupons in our giveaway contests. Okay, enough of my jibba jab, let's go have a closer look at these brand new faces. Okay, here's an all digital watch face to start things off and the digital time is set in an easy to read and bold font and you can also choose to show the time in either a 12 or 24 hour format. Now this one actually comes with a lot of activity information but it's organized in such a way that it doesn't feel overly busy and that's partially because of the separated sections on the face as each area has its own fixed features and they're separated by ribbons or bars. Now starting at the top of the face you have your moon face and full date and then you can see a horizontal ribbon showing the current day separated by the digital time just below that. A second battery status bar separates all the remaining data at the bottom which includes your step count and goal, distance traveled which can be shown in kilometers or miles, your calories burnt, floors climbed as well as your last recorded heart rate. This one comes pre-loaded with 7 app shortcuts as well as 12 colorful themes for the background. All right, next up is another digital face, and this is actually fairly similar in design and layout to the previous one, although the color themes for the background here are set more in a multi-tone variation. Now you still have the same information displayed as the previous model and in a similar layout, so if you happen to like this arrangement, then it may just come down to which color theme you like best. Okay, changing things up, here's an analog watch face that definitely has a very classy and elegant look and feel to it, and depending on the color theme that you want to go with, it even has a bit of a sporty look to it too. And with those color themes, you have a total of 12 different colors to choose from, as well as an all black version. Now the display features are pretty light on this one, as you have a step counter and goal in the dial on the left hand side, and a battery remaining indicator for the dial on the right. The full date is shown at the bottom and the developers also included some gyro lighting effects built in and you can see those when you shift the watch from side to side. And this one also comes with 5 app shortcuts which are all displayed at the bottom of the face and there's even a built in feature which lets you reveal or hide them when you tap on that assigned location. Alright, and the last one that I want to show you guys is a hybrid variety which displays both the analog and digital time and once again you can choose to have the digital time displayed in either a 12 or 24 hour format. Now the entire color theme of this face is set in a monochrome color tone but you do have 10 different background themes to choose from and those affect the marker indexes around the bezel as well as the ability to hide or reveal the assigned app shortcuts. And in total, you have 10 shortcuts on the face, which pretty much covers every useful app that you'd want access to anyways. And in terms of features, this is actually similar to the last one as there's a step counter and goal for the dial on the left hand side, battery status indicator for the dial on the right, moon phase at the top, and then your full date finishes off the features just along the bottom of the face. And if you want more information on the watch faces I reviewed today, then simply do a search in the Galaxy App Store under the name of these faces. 
The full details are also included in the video description, and I'm also going to be giving away a free coupon with one going to a random and lucky viewer that comments here, and the other coupon is going to a random user that's already registered on the My Gear Watch website. So you essentially have two chances to win, both here and on the website, but remember, you have to be a registered user in order to participate, so make sure you go sign up. As always, good luck to everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.